Ever so slowly and quietly, there's a change taking hold in the city of Detroit. And then actual teardowns. It's something fairly new in the city because of something the city's had problems with for decades, money. Our business editor, Rod Maloney, shows us how it's all turning around. Rod? Move outside of downtown Detroit and you see houses like this, overgrown, boarded up. There are 75,000 of them. So for the city to move forward, to become a great city once again, there's a lot of work to do. But times have changed in this regard. Detroit Lois McCann lives on Montgomery Street. I've been in the city my whole life. It's something that I've come to really expect. Without knowing it today, 3238 Montgomery, 3738 Montgomery, and five other vacant homes on the street changed hands. So it's like sometimes a thimble trying to empty the ocean. Detroit City Council member Scott Benson leads the city's dangerous buildings process, which requires an inspection and detailed looks at a vacant building's ownership and tax status before the city steps in and takes ownership of these crime haven eyesores. For decades, this process has gone on and meant little to nothing because the city lacked the cash to tear down the homes. But now, with federal dollars backing the effort, some homes are in things is that it didn't happen overnight that we got into the situation we have so much vacant property. We won't be able to correct it overnight either. Only problem, they contemn roughly a thousand homes a year, and at that rate, it'll be something like 2066 or later before all are dealt with. The notion is pleasing, but you know, when it actually happens, that'll be even better. Uh, we've been hearing rumors of them tearing down these houses for years now. And you know that Lois McCann is absolutely right to be skeptical because even though there is money, to take care of messes like this. The fact of the matter is it could be sometime next year before this house is down. In Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4. And we should tell you that more than 150 homes changed hands to the city today. And though seven were on Montgomery Street, there are more than that seven needing demolition remaining on the block.